Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabax. In this tutorial, we are going to connect Tabax to our 5M server. We are going to start with a fresh server, run through the setup, install Cubicore, connect our Tabax to our server. Then once everything is connected, we are going to create a package that will make something happen in game once the package is claimed or purchased. In this case, we are going to run a command that will give some money to the player. A little bit of housekeeping first, it shouldn't really matter where you host your server. It also shouldn't really matter what hosting framework you use. But if you use anything different than what I'm using in this example, things might be in slightly different locations, but the overall steps and concepts should be the same. So this is a completely fresh server. What I'm first going to do is go to my recipes and make sure that I'm installing QB Core. As it says here, this is an advanced 5M role-playing framework, including jobs, gangs, housing, and more. If you're using a different framework, the commands might be slightly different. So I'm going to run this recipe deployer, wait for all these 89 steps to complete, and then we should have all our files to run not just our 5M server, but also have Cubicore installed. We will use the commands inside of Cubicore in combination with our Tabex package. This install is now completed. If we want to, we can see all the different logs, or we can go to the different resources that are installed. I will be leaving this default for now. Let's go to the server files, and then inside of our server CFG, at the end, we want to add our secret key. So let's go to Tabex, and then under integrations, let's go to our game servers. I already have a few, not properly named, but do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> let's create a new game server. I will be giving it a name so I know what server to select. And I will also attach all my different packages to this game server. So let's copy our secret key. So then in our server.cfg, we're going to paste our secret key. And in the top right, we are going to save the changes. Then we can restart the server. And just by adding our secret key, we should now automatically connect to our Tabex. While this is booting, we can go to the console and it says that we need to authenticate our license. So going to our game settings, we can see here under basic server settings, we do not have a server registration key or license key. We can click here. This will bring us to our CFX portal. Here we can either generate a server registration key, but I already have one. So I'm just going to be copying my key and then pasting that over here. After saving the settings, we can start the server again. And now we should actually see the server boot up. Let's go back to the console. And it says here, authenticated with Tabex 5M Academy. When we go back to our setup, we can see it's now done looking for the connection and we can actually click on continue. We now successfully created our game server. The connection is actually working and tested. Now we can use this game server inside of our package. Let's first of all, connect to our server. I'm going to press F8 and then type connect and then the IP address of our server. Let's wait for this to finish and then let's create a character. Before we run any commands through Tabex, I always highly recommend getting the exact command syntax first in the game, testing it that way and then transferring it to Tabex. So first of all, I'm going to press T to open up my chat. I'm going to say slash cash to see in the top right that I currently have $500. For money, we have two options. We can either give money or set money. So let's do give money in this case. So for this to work, we need to first find out our ID. So if I do slash ID, we can see in the right, my current ID is one. So what we can do, we can do give money, ID number one, cash, and then the amount, let's do 500. And as you can see, we just got another 500, giving us a total of thousand. It's already gone, so let's do cash again. You can see we now have a thousand. So using that command that we just used, give money one, cash 500, we can give money directly to the player and dictate if it either goes to the cash or to their bank. So let's try bank. And as you can see, we also got 500 inside of there. I copied the command that I know is working. Let's now transfer this to Tabex. On Tabex, we're gonna go to packages and then let's create a new package. So skipping over the simple things like the name, the description, the pricing, we're going to focus on the game servers and the commands. A quick side note, if this is a actual package, please list out what is inside of your package, inside of the description, so the customer always knows exactly what they are getting. I'm going to leave it this minimalistic since this is just a demonstration. Down here, we have our deliverables. As you can see here, we already have game server commands. We could add more if we want to. We will look at some of these options in upcoming videos. For now, we're going to just focus on game server commands. 
make sure that we have our game server over here. I have multiple, let's remove them for now and only select the full setup game server. Then I have two packages. I'm going to say hello Tabex just as a test and as a demonstration. And this is going to run even if the player is offline. And of course the player that they are talking about is whoever claimed or bought this package. Then we have a second command over here. We have give money, then the ID, then cash, and then the amount. Exactly like we just had before. But as you can see, there's a slight difference. Instead of using a hard coded ID, we are going to be using the SID variable. It will automatically change this variable to the actual ID of the player who is logged into your web store. And when looking at the settings, this will only execute if the player is online. So let's update this package. Then let's go to our dashboard and from there, let's view our web store, go to our packages and let's add that package to our basket. During the process, we're going to log in to our CFX account, proceed to checkout, complete the payment, click on continue. So inside of our console here, we have our message, hello Tabex, let's check our cash. There we go, 1500. So we did get our money. If we go back to our payment and refresh, we can see that both of these are processed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect from the server. Then on Tabex, I'm going to go to my web store again, view the packages, add it to the basket, again, log in, and then complete the test payment. This way we can demonstrate that the first command will run regardless. And then the second command will be waiting till the player is online. Let's go back to our payments. Let's view the payment. We can see here now our commands are due. Let's do a refresh. And here we go. The say hello command did run as it's supposed to do because it's supposed to run even if the player is offline and the online command is nicely waiting for the player to join the server. I'm going to rejoin the server. We should be able to see our money while we're joining and then a little bit after we joined, we should get our 500 extra cash money. Let's select our player and then let's wait for our cash. As you saw, we had 1500, so we should end up on 2000. So there you go. We just got our money pretty quick. Didn't even have to wait long. And that's basically all there is to it. Any command that you can run in game with a ID, you should be able to run through Tabex. Hopefully this explains how you can give money to a player directly in game and shows you the basic of linking your 5M server to your Tabex store. There are many more options with the game server commands. There are even more deliverables you can add to this package or of course any other packages on your store. If that is something you're interested in, take a look at our YouTube channel. For now, I hope this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabax store.